Hey everybody, this is Grace and it has been a morning already. It's only 7.52 a.m. <laughs> August 7th. But anyway, I had to move my SUV today. I have to move it because um, we're having, supposed to be having our deep freezer finally delivered. We started looking for it before Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Yeah, and it's, like I said, August 7th. It was supposed to be delivered on June 18th, I believe it was, and that day, I've mentioned this in other videos, but that day they they uh, left messages to on Adam's phone saying that it wasn't going to be delivered that day, and it wouldn't be until August. <laughs> okay. And I'm not so sure it's going to be delivered today, but they, they sent them notices again yesterday saying it would be delivered today between 11 and 3. I just want to, I won't believe it until I see it. And, um, and I'm, I'm hoping it's not a big fiasco because what we want them to do, because we're both older and we don't want to be subjected to, you know, this coronavirus. Um, we want them to deliver it to the garage and we're going to leave, you know, Adam said he wants to leave it there in the garage for a couple of days or so, and then he'll get it in the house. And, um. I don't know how he's going to do that, but <laughs> okay. So I, I, I want to see if it goes off without that. I, I just totally believe that they're going to find some way to do something to get him at least outside, you know, like to sign for it or something like that. Um, and they won't be wearing masks. And I have a reason for saying this. Um, you know, this is Texas and we've had this, uh, of, mask or mandatory for I don't know how long now and there was a time it wasn't but anyway um, and it is again at least a month I don't know I could be lying but it's, it's been a, a long enough for people to have it down pat in their head that they have to wear mask you know but so far you know I come to the park I, I just passed a man he wasn't wearing one but anytime you're in public, you're supposed to be wearing one. But he was just walking on the sidewalk. Okay. I bet so far I haven't seen it. And the reason, now I do have a reason, like I said, um, about this. So I'll get to that. Now, I really do appreciate that we can have things delivered. Anything, you know, that we that is deliverable. <laughs> as you'd like. And to, including, you know, groceries and so, so forth. And I really appreciate that they have these services and people do this kind of job. You bet I'd appreciate it. But so far, I mean, we've been doing this since, I think, sometime in February. We've not had an order that was actually delivered correctly. <laughs> okay. I mean, the other day we figured up that 70% of our order, this one, that was one that we picked up. Why aren't they driving through that? But 70% of it. Uh, we only we only got 70 percent but we've we've had this every time that they wouldn't have certain items even though they have them on their website and all that I don't know who in the world that is but um yeah we would get about I, I would say that most times it was about 60 to 70 percent of the stuff would actually be delivered now of course they're not charging us for the ones that aren't one of them did uh, it was just two items. But anyway, they, okay, I came out here to be alone. I didn't come out here for all that. <laughs> I know it's not their fault. Don't, yeah. But right where I'm going to be sitting, yeah, so. Anyway, they gotta go work and wear their mask. Oh, I wonder. Or did, maybe they did. But yeah, anyway, I don't need somebody driving up right when I'm trying to do something. <laughs> Oh my goodness. He's not wearing a mask either. He's working. Yeah, you work for the city and you're not wearing one. See, I'm telling you, seriously. It, it's like nobody cares. You know, a bunch of rebels. Rebels without a clue. But anyway. Um, so we, we've been having trouble with things being delivered. Okay, for all these months since February or whenever. And, uh, you know, we, we kind of expect it now. And, um, you know, like, I expect that man's not going to be wearing one either. Nope. So, 
<laughs> I know this is sounds so sarcastic. And now I'm going to start doing this. Just really let it all out. You know, we all make mistakes. I can make a mistake right now while I'm driving. And then, you know, that could cause all kinds of problems. And, you know, we make mistakes. But when you continue to do them, that's a problem. Well, you can see he's not wearing one either. Wow. We got a mandate. Nobody thinks they have to wear them. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to see what that sign said. <laughs> but uh, see how distracted I get because of things? <laughs> you know? Oh, anyway. So we've been having these troubles with the and it's been very frustrating to me because I already feel like, you know, the stuff that you you have delivered, they leave it. What We have all of ours marked to where they del deliver it and they leave it outside the front door. Okay, and then we don't go, you know, unless it's something perishable, you know, we don't go right out, you know, right away and get it. And um, so, you know, they're, they're supposed to leave it out there. That way they don't have to see us. Whoops, see there, I'm, not, I'm human, I make mistakes. We don't have to see them. They don't have to see us. You know, the social distancing thing issue, all that. They don't want to wear their mask. You know, we, we're we not going to wear a mask in our house. But we're not going to open the door either, you know. And that's what it says. It will say on our thing, leave outside front door. Okay, and these, these stores say that they do this because of the coronavirus. And, you know, people like us, you know, older adults who have, are vulnerable to it and everything. But the employees don't always seem to understand that. And I'm going to tell a story. And I'm going to start telling my stories on these, each one. I don't. I mean, if you're watching and that, that kind of thing doesn't appeal to you, don't watch. Okay? Seriously. I, I never liked that kind of attitude, but I really, past couple of years, I really, really st start to understand that, you know, people want, you know, people shouldn't expect you to do what they what you want them to do. <laughs> the videos. Anyway, so I'm going to tell this story. What happened, I think it was just about a week ago. I don't remember. Every day's Groundhog Day, what day of the week it was. But we had had troubles, a lot of troubles, and this was over years with one delivery service. Anytime we ordered it online, it's a big one, a huge one. Things would come in banged up or... Uh, a lot smaller than what they it appears on the picture. You know, they're not going to say the size of it, but yeah, a lot smaller. Like ordering mask, and they're supposed to be ones that cover it. They show the the picture. It covers the whole person, the person's face. It's an adult, and then it's, instead, it just covers. It, instead, it's for a child, and they may have taken a child or just photoshopped it. Yeah made a sh child, you know, look like an adult or something, but it's probably Photoshop. Stuff like this, or they come in and they're just bad stuff. So we said, forget that. We're going to go, you know, stick to one of them. You know, we've, we've not had any, like, I'm serious. Every order has been messed up somehow from any of the services we've used, any of them. So we decided we were going to try with Walmart. Okay. Now, we've already done Walmart before. We've already done that. So, um, but we did order some stuff through Walmart. We haven't opened the packages yet through the Walmart. There, there are two different ways you can do Walmart. One of them is just the delivery or pickup for the groceries kind of thing, you know, what they have in that store. And the other one's for stuff they order, you know, that you can order a different way. But anyway, this one was the grocery one. And we, like I said, we've done this before. We have done this before. So, you know, we, ha we ordered whatever we could that we would usually order from the other one. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing unusual, like I said. Now let me tell the story. Okay, so as usual, we have it. We have it stated, and we have it clicked for delivery outside the front door. And we're used to, you know, them coming up and they knock, and the puppy goes crazy. <laughs> you know, we're used to that. They knock, let us know that they're out there. You know, any of the delivery services, they, they tend to do that. So you know, I just yell them, okay, leave it at the door. And I don't open the door. I'm not opening the door when somebody's out there. And I'm not opening it right away either. And uh, so I'm used to this. I'm used to doing this all these months. Then I heard knocking again. Really, you know, I have a sign say knock hard um, because the doorbell isn't working. We're not going to fix it. 
<laughs> but they, um, so I kept hearing this, this knocking really loud. So I went to the window. There's a window near it. And I looked out, and it's the delivery guy. Not wearing a face, you know, not wearing a mask, not wearing face covering. I'm just going to say mask. Nope, uh-uh. It's mandatory, but uh-uh. He's not going to be wearing around my age, okay? And he's out there, and I look, and I said, what? You know, I asked him, what do you need? He said, I need you to, you know, he, you can't really hear that well because the, the windows are so thick. And uh, so I'm speaking loud. And he said, he he mumbles. Then they always do this. This happened more than once. So I said it again. You know, they should just call us. But, you know, I think that's, that's so, so too much trouble for them. So... And I'm saying, what do you need? And he and finally understood him. He wanted me to, now get this, <laughs> get this. He wanted me to come outside. There he is without his mask, standing on my, over my, my groceries, yelling. Think about that. Trying to talk louder, but not loud enough, of course. And I'm saying, I can't hear you. <laughs> you know? And anyway, he wants me to come outside the front door. And to check my order. What the crap? You want me to come outside and check my order? <laughs> I'm like, I had it delivered outside the door for a reason. And he just stands there and just keeps talking and keeps talking. I, I said, screw it. I walk off. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I, I try to talk to him and tell him, I'm not coming outside. And checking my order you know well what is that crap to come out no, none of them have ever done that none of them what is to come outside and check my order like it's some kind of delivery you know you know how they do that when you're working someplace and they deliver this office supplies and that you have to check them and mark it off and all that stuff I'm not doing that for groceries I'm not doing it when you're a cold idiot standing out there without your mask on when it's mandatory and during the coronavirus you, you don't even care. What the crap? <laughs> anyway, but we you know, that that was that was one of them and I was like, what gets into people's heads? Seriously, what gets into their head that be, maybe he must have mixed them up in the back of his SUV? Or car or whatever he was driving so he you know because he screwed up I'm gonna have to t risk my life and go out there when he's not wearing his mask and go out there and check my order uh-uh but what gets into their head that they're there they're the center of everything well I know what it is you know I do a whole channel on yeah this kind of thing but you know that's, that's, that's where he went and so he left, and he, the bad thing was then, like I said, we're not perfect, I'm admitting to this. Then after he left, just a few minutes later, I went and opened the door, and I said, ugh. <laughs> really? Oh, you know, seriously, it was just, uh, but anyway, yeah, we're having this thing delivered. This has caused me a little bit of anxiety, because this kind of, some something weird happens every time that something is delivered you know, like the time that we finally ordered food through us one of those sir you know those services that deliver and the whole fiasco behind that that led to us both getting food poisoning yeah because oh, crazy stuff just you know they were going to deliver to the zip code <laughs> And because our zip, because uh, our actual physical address wasn't within their range, they were they weren't they were going to charge us, make us pay for the food anyway. But they weren't going to deliver it. Yeah, it was like fifty bucks, forty eight something. Oh my God, crazy crazy stuff. But anyway, I'm hoping today goes off without a hitch. I, I don't know. My morning woke up with me worried about it. And I woke up early, and then the dog started in. Oh my goodness! What? What? I just say, okay, this is not going to be this day. <laughs> and I'm really, seriously, I, my blood pressure has actually gone down, and uh, I've felt calmer during this because I'm not having to go to stores. And you know, we had been ordering groceries delivered and stuff delivered before, but other things I'd go to stores for and all. I just needed a few things 
and uh, but I don't have to, and I won't now, and um, so my blood pressure's gone down, because I'm not dealing with the people, and I've done videos before about people just, you know, like I'm standing there, and they just walked up to get an item in a grocery store, just walked up myself, and then somebody puts their hand in front of my face to grab something there. You know, that's, and one time in one store, it happened 11 times. Not the same person at all. <laughs> I do call it narcissismville for a reason. Uh, but anyway, okay, I think that's enough for this one. But I'm going to do little ones like this, you know, here and there. Not little ones. I don't think this is going to wind up being little. I have video editor issues, which makes, of course, it's been, this is the third week. Makes, of course, it a little bit difficult, you know, it's a little frustrating for me. On top of all this stuff, I don't need my, you know, didn't need my video editor to change. You know, we didn't, we've had enough change during this, but it did, and now I've been trying all kinds of ways to get videos up. It's just, uh, sometimes they'll, they'll upload, sometimes they won't. <laughs> just whenever they feel like it, you know. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm going to vent in my videos. Prepare yourself. It's like as if I haven't already. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you on another video.